Next up, we're going to check out and see what's new in the SUP category. SUP or stand up paddle boarding. Paddle boarding, excuse me. What's up? What's up? I always want to say that, but it sounds really dumb. Right. We are at the Fanatic booth. We're going to see what they've got in store for us. Guys, everything is new. <laughs> no, not uh, everything. Okay, <laughs> almost everything. <laughs> so, this is a touring board or yeah, a race board? No, touring board. Touring this board. Is, it's more, to more wide. Yeah, more wide. Stable and, uh, for people that are not as coordinated. Exactly. exactly. It's not exactly the race ball, but it's a touring board, yeah. Yeah, touring board. And made of? The? Made from bamboo. Yeah, completely. Yeah. Completely? Yeah. The whole thing? Yeah, yeah. Whoa! We're at the Starboard booth. These guys have been a long time staple in the SUP world. A new limited series board. New That's limited a, series board. Yeah, it's a new look, um, a bit more surf, kind of classic surf orientated. So the design is uh, using this kind of hexagonal tiles which um, all these little grooves give you a bit more grip with the edges um, and it's actually, the, the, from those that have tried it, it's been one of the most liked traction because you've got all these kind of extra grips with the, the edges. One thing that Paddle Sports Show is really excited to promote is this idea of sustainability and I love seeing more companies um, taking this idea and doing something with it. So these guys at Starboard have their plastic offset program uh, buy a board and they collect plastic from beaches equivalent up to 200 plastic bags. Um, so they kind of calculate their their footprint and try to find ways to reduce it, which I have a lot of respect for. Cool. All right, so we're at the Anime Sup booth. These guys have been at paddle, the Paddle Expo in the past, really stoked to see them back at the Paddle Shorts sh Sports Show. What are we called? The Paddle Sports Show? Partly because I want to make sure I get a t-shirt. All right, so tell me about tell me about what we got here. I know we're in the sub category, and but now we're talking about the apparel because yeah. these are so fun. Yeah. Hey, okay. party shirts. Yes, these are shirts ready for water, so then you can paddle while you are showing your your look, your special look. And then the fabric is special. It's, it's like drying really fast. You can stretch it as much as you can. It's soft. So it's especially for water, especially if you want to paddle and be passion or cool. Of course, this is the we're yeah, like collaborating with a famous artist, and then uh, they put their own art in our boards, and then you can see that it's uh, quite different the range the range that we have and uh, the kind of uh, illustration that you can find. So it depends on the, the look that you like. You will feel more more like comfortable showing. It. Hey! That's cool. This is Wild Sup. The Fierce Lynx. This one is my spirit animal. It's a cat, but it still likes the water. So you've got sups for one person, sups for two people, yeah. sups for four people, and sups for six people. Yeah. Only six? Well, six or eight people. Ooh. Maybe six uh, and two kids. Yeah, there you go. Uh, we're gonna have the actual. We're gonna have the after party for the show on the Wild Grizzly Sup. Okay. Yeah, we're all. Everyone's invited. I think it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> the company is a Sroka company. It was uh, created in 2013 by Bruno Sroka. Oh, good good name. Good name. And this guy was a three-time world champion for kiteboarding. Apparently, he was also good at kiteboarding. Yeah. And we had different level of uh, of range. This one. This this range is a classic range. It's more for. Uh, uh, you can wing, you can surf foil, you can surf him, and yeah. you can wing foil too with the same range. Look at that, that's actually super cool. It's a carrying case that you just wrap this up up in. Dude, we need this. I was like, what are we doing? All right, are we ready? This is a balance test. <laughs> J Zone, Italian sub company. Yes? What sub company? Uh, this co no, no, Italian it's company? Yeah, it's Italian company. Italian yeah. company. It's like making a coffee is like wanting to go supping with an inflatable sup, you know? Like there's the process, the preparation. Yeah, we're, we're inflating now. Yeah, we're inflating the <laughs> sup now. <laughs> These guys at J Bay, they do the J Bay Zone, and they also partner with street artists to make limited edition models that are designed, um, everyone's kind of unique. They do different ones each year. Uh, taking the street art to the water? The, yes, taking the street art to the water. 
This is like a hub where you can put the boards for doing things like fitness or you dock them for exercise. And it's kind of cool. We're here with the Gladiator. So this is the entry price level line, good for beginners, people just getting into SUP. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so stiffer board, more durable edges, new material, but same yeah. construction. So new fiberglass paddles, even in the origin line. Amazing. Yeah. We're at the Astron booth checking out the Falcon, their new SUP wing board. So this is a carbon concept, uh, carbon foil, I believe there's carbon in the board. And I think you've got design, both in, uh, both in terms of performance and aesthetic. Um, you've got a lower price point, and you've got a really lightweight board. <laughs> We've got the Aquamarina Airship Race. So this is not for one person, don't worry. This is actually a team race board. So SUP team racing. This is, this is SIPA Drive. These guys are a battery powered SUP insert for your SUP board. So the idea behind this is two parts. One, it's like a paddle assist. So it's kind of like an e-bike, but for your SUP. So you can still paddle just as hard and get all of your fitness, but you go faster, you go further. Um, but two, it's a good safety issue. So in case you're ever out stuck somewhere in the open water, you've got a little bit of extra power to take you back to shore if you get tired or if you get injured. So new this year, if you take a look, these guys have been around for a while, but they've redesigned the battery system. So now you've got a dual battery system, two batteries. One is good for around three to six hours, depending on the speed you're going or how you're using it. So you can take it out, use it the whole time, or only if you need it as your last case emergency. So super cool, uh, super cool design, and good to see them continually innovating. This is a quick, this is a test. What does SIC stand for? Sandwich Island Composites. It's an island where you can only eat sandwiches. That's really not true. Please don't quote me on that. That's not a fact. <laughs> so we want to talk about the silent air remover. So I love this design, I love this, co this concept, and what it does is that when you depressurize the SUPs to deflate them, yeah. it means that it, it's silent. So you don't get that big disruption of the burst of air from the pressurization that is required to make the SUP boards as stiff as they need to be for the performance. Any noise? Amazing. No explosion. Yeah, there's no explosion. So can we do it one without it? Yes. Just to see Thank the difference? It's terrible. <laughs> Everyone needs one of these. <laughs> Good. Do you hear that? They're clapping for me. <laughs> That's your teaser of new gear in the SUP category here at the Paddle Sports Show. For more information on all of these products, be sure to visit our websites, paddlerguide.com and paddlesportshow.com. You can also find links to where you can buy the products for yourself. For more updates for what's going on here at the show, be sure to check out our Instagram, at Paddler Guide, or click through the rest of the videos on our YouTube channel, Paddler Guide TV.